Hello, this is Michael, and welcome to the Medlock Method Chinese Language Builder. 你好，我是邱老师。And we're on part six of the Chinese Language Builder for hotels. Yes, finally. The final part as well. Finally. <laughs> so, so odds and ends, and then we get to check out. That's right. Yeah, 我们今天退房。Okay, yeah. We're still in 询问 inquiry 询问 Now we're going to ask about onward tickets. Hmm. We're going to ask. I'd like to book a ticket to Xi'an. Hmm. And we an air ticket. Okay. How do you say airline ticket? 机票 And book. 订 So book a ticket would be. 订一张机票 And I'd like to book an air ticket. 我想订一张机票 Now we're going to go to Xi'an. And we'll be 去西安，去西安的机票 Yeah, this is the way it's done in Chinese is different. We don't put the to Xi'an at the end, do we? No, we in Chinese we said to Xi'an's air ticket. So the word order in Chinese would be: I'd like to book a to Xi'an's air ticket. That's right. Tell me, I'd like to book an air ticket to Xi'an. I want to book a ticket to Xi'an. Okay, one more time. I want to book a ticket to Xi'an. And you'd probably ask a follow-on question: How do you book? How do you book? You might hear this reply. We can book for you.、Mm -hmm. Now the Chinese way is a little more involved than the English way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the literal way of saying it would be, "We can for you instead book." That's right. Instead book, instead of you to book. Okay. So that would be, 代订代订 And for you, 替您 And put those together for you instead book. 替您代订 Tell me, we can book for you. 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 You say with, we would say through. Yeah, that's right. Tell me, you can book through the airline company. Now we're going to make it a little bit more sophisticated and use the word directly in here. Yeah, 直接 Tell me. You can book directly through the airline company. But in Chinese, we said um, direct um, with the company, with the airline company, and book. So you can directly with the airline company book. That's right. Tell me, you can book directly through the airline company. You can. 跟航空公司订，您可以直接跟航空公司订。Seems complicated, but when you break it down, it's actually not so hard. No, it's not. The other alternative, of course, would be you can book through a travel agent.、Mm. Can you tell me, Chalosha, how do you say travel agent? 旅行社 literally a, a travel company. Yeah, 旅行社 And through a travel company, uh, like 跟航空公司订 we use 跟 so with a travel yeah, agent. That's right. Okay, 跟旅行社订 Tell me, you can book through a travel agent. 
您可以跟旅行社订。您可以跟旅行社订。Okay, next. We're doing a little bit of local tourism, so we would like to book a local tour. Yes. First, can you tell me how to say tour? 旅游团 So that's tour group or what? Yeah, tour group. Yeah, 旅游团 So tour group. And local? 当地当地的 So a local tour group would be 当地的旅游团 And some people say 旅行团 as well. It's like 旅行社旅行团 Yeah, in English we have lots of different ways of saying the same thing anyway. Yeah. And we want to use the word join. How would you join? 参加 So join a local tour. 参加当地的旅行团，或参加当地的旅游团 Tell me, I'd like to join a local tour. I want to join a local tour. Ask me, how do I join? How do I join? Let's mash all that together. Tell me, I'd like to join a local tour. How do I join? I want to join a local tour. How do I join? And they're going to tell you, you can book at the front desk in the lobby. Now the Chinese way of phrasing this is a little bit different. The word order. That's right. You literally say, you can at the lobby's front desk book. That's right. Yeah. So let's have first have the word for front desk. 前台 And lobby. 大厅 So the lobby's front desk. 大厅前台 Tell me. You can book at the front desk in the lobby. The other reply that you might get is, you can book through a travel agent. Yeah, we have done that. We have done that. So tell me, you can book through a travel agent. Now we like to practice the sentence pattern. 我想 What do you want to do? We like, to, like do, to do something. And how do I do it? 怎么 And the first sentence we'll have a stab at is, I'd like to go to the train station. How do I go? Can you please remind us, Chiu Lao Shu, what's the Chinese for train station? 火车站 Ask me. I'd like to go to the train station. How do I go? 我想去火车站。怎么去？ Now one of the big things to do in China is drinking tea. That's right. Now the way you drink tea is often a little bit more complicated than sticking a bag. <laughs> Or just putting a couple of、uh, spoons in a kettle, like we would do.、Mm, well, because we have, we are civilized,、It's、sophisticated. I know we have、exactly. so much to learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Can you remind us how we say drink tea? 喝茶 Ask me. We'd like to drink tea. How do we drink it? 我们想喝茶，怎么喝 ？The other big thing to do in China, of course, is eat. Lots of hao chi. Yeah, yeah, that's right.、Mm. How do we say taste something? I'd like to taste something, Chaoshan. 
So it's like a try to try something, mm -hmm. okay, and te try to tease it, yeah? And there would be chi chi. You don't know what something's called, so you'll just say this thing. Yeah, yeah. if you haven't tried it before, I don't think you would know the name. You've yeah. probably forgotten it anyway, <laughs> even if you have. <laughs> okay, 这个东西. 这个东西. So taste this thing. 吃吃这个东西. Some people say 吃吃看. 吃吃看, we have can there. So you, you, you eat and see how the response. It's not blind taste. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ask me. We'd like to taste this thing. How do we eat it? We Now, the last two sentences that we're going to deal with in this slide are about your heater and your air conditioner. Right. Because they never seem to be right. <laughs> Let's start off with the heater. Can you remind us how to say heater? Nuan qi. And it's too cold, so we want to turn on the heater. How do we say turn on the heater? Kai nuan qi. So they open the nuan qi. Ask me, I'd like to turn on the heater. How do I turn it on? Now the opposite situation would be the air conditioner. It's too cold. Mm -hmm. Especially in the south of China, they seem to set them, there are two settings, off or freezing. <laughs> yeah, I think especially in Hong Kong. Hong though. Kong, yeah. Hong Kong, it's awful. Even Hong Kong people complain about it, but yeah, they never so seem cold. to do anything about it. So cold in Hong Kong. So how do we say air conditioner? Kong Tiao. And turn off the air conditioner? Literally, to close. Guan. Guan Kong Tiao. Ask me, I'd like to turn off the air conditioner. How do I turn it off? Washang Guan Kong Tiao. Zama Guan. Okay, so, and uh, switch, you switch something on and off. The switch would call it Kai Guan. So it's on and off, kai guan, so open and close. Yeah, the switch. Makes nice sense. and simple and logical. Yep, exactly. Right, next slide. Uh, we're looking for recommendations. I think a lot of times, as a tourist, you ask people, local people, their um, opinions, their recommendations. Yeah, because however good the guidebook is, it's always out of date by the time it's published anyway. So um, Exactly. Especially in China. China. Oh. Yeah, Ch China changes every day. Yeah, blink and it's a new building has gone up. Mm. Yeah. So, recommendation, tui jian. It could be a noun, it could be a verb. Tui jian. Okay. We're going to have a little bit of review first. Tell me... I'd like to join a local tour. And we're going to add on to the end of that, could you please give me a recommendation for a travel agent? Sounds complicated. <laughs> it is a little, but we'll break it into... Easily digestible pieces. Okay. Now, can we have recommendation again? Tui jian. And give me a recommendation. Gei wo tui jian. And travel agent? Lu xing she. So we put that bit together. Give me a recommendation for a travel agent. Gei wo tui jian yi jia lu xing she. We use jia to count the rishing she, okay, to count companies. Now, if we're being polite and we say, please, could you, 
the beginning of the sentence, we would use "chini," and at then, the end of the sentence, "hama." Ask me, could you please give me a recommendation for a travel agent? It's a very useful sentence, so let's stick all this together and so we can review it one more time. Tell me, I'd like to join a local tour. Could you please give me a recommendation for a travel agent? And again, we need to eat, especially if we're in China, we really need to eat and taste everything. Of course. So, of course, the best thing to do is ask for a local recommendation. That's right. We're going to ask which are the better restaurants around here. Okay. And the word order is a little different from the English. Okay. In Chinese will be around here, which restaurants are the better tasting. Okay. Not that we eat the restaurant. Chalasha, <laughs> 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 can you tell us the better tasting? chi. And which restaurants are the better tasting? Na jia can ting bi jiao hao chi. And around here. Zhe fu jin. So it's literally here near. Yeah, here nearby. Yeah. Ask me, which are the better restaurants around here? And you're going to ask for a recommendation. You would ask, can you recommend one for me? And the Chinese way will be, please give me recommendation one. One restaurant. One me. restaurant. Yeah. So tell me, please recommend one for me. So one house. Okay, one house of restaurants. That's how we count the restaurants. Companies, restaurants, business. Because they're in houses. Not only that, usually, it, traditionally, all these businesses are run by families. Of course, yes. Okay. Mm. Right, okay, let's imagine we're in the restaurant. We've got a good recommendation for a good restaurant. And now we want to make sure that we have the best food that we can get. That's right. We're going to ask, which dishes are tasty? Please give me a recommendation. Cholosha, how do you say which dishes? Na dao cai. Which dishes are tasty? Na dao cai hao chi. Ask me, which dishes are tasty? Please give me a recommendation. Na dao cai hao chi. Here we use 推荐一下, so we don't have to say that how many dishes you recommend, please. It's just a, just a recommend. Okay. A few. Yeah. And in a sort of a softer kind of way of saying yeah. it as well. Okay, now we need to do some, uh, some sentence pattern practice. Now, let's practice recommendation. 请你给我推荐一下. Ask me, which restaurants are good? Please give me a recommendation. 哪家餐厅好吃? 请你给我推荐一下. Here, you can say, 好,哪家餐厅好? Okay, which restaurant is good? And of course, you can say which restaurant is hao chi, means delicious. Which restaurant is delicious? Not the restaurant itself delicious, but uh, the food. 
of course, but a, a Chinese way will try to make it easier. Ask me which dishes are good. Please give us a recommendation. Ask me which travel agent is good. Please recommend one. Uh, here, of course, you can say 请你推荐一家, just one 旅行社. You can do that, of course. 哪家旅行社好? 请你推荐一下, 请你推荐一家. And you want to know which tour would be the better one? Mm -hmm. Ask me which tour is better. Please recommend one. So better is 比较好, 比较好, 比较 is relatively, okay, relatively good. Of course, here you can also say 请你推荐一个, it means 一个旅游团, okay, 请你推荐一下. Okay, now it's time for us to check out. Ah, finally. <laughs> 退房, 退房. So what is tui, literally? Tui means withdraw. Okay, withdraw from the room. That's right, 退房. So there you are with your bags. You're at the front desk, and the front desk clerk is very, very perceptive. And he or she asks... Are you checking out now? Yeah. Of course you can say, I'm, I'm going to check out now. But I think usually before you open your mouth, you, you t tell them that information, they will ask you. Ask me, are you checking out now? To which your answer might be, yes. How much is it all together? Again, the Chinese way is a little different from the English way, isn't it? Yeah. Firstly, we need to get at the yes. Which yes do we use here? Shi. Sure. And how do we say all together? Zong gong. Oh, so the Chinese way will be yes, all together, how much is it? That's right. Tell me, yes, how much is it all together? Now, of course, before they can give you the final bill, they need to find out whether you've drunk anything from the mini bar. That's right. So they're going to ask you, did you use any drinks in the mini bar? And the language itself would be highly, highly high register. Yeah. So can you start us off, Chiu Lao How do you say drinks? In Liao. And the mini bar, you would just say refrigerator, wouldn't you? That's right. So there would be Bing Xiang. So drinks in the refrigerator? Bing Xiang Li de in Liao. And the high register form of use? Shi Yong. Let's say use the drinks in the mini bar. 使用冰箱里的饮料 Ask me, did you use any drinks in the refrigerator? 您有没有使用冰箱里的饮料? 您有没有使用冰箱里的饮料? So in Chinese you'll be saying, have you used? That's right, yeah. Let's imagine no. Tell me no. May. And let's imagine yes. And you're going to say yes, I drank a bottle of Coke. And how do you say Coke, Chiloja? Ke le. And a bottle of Coke? Yi ping ke le. 
tell me yes, I drank a bottle of Coke. 有，我喝了一瓶可乐。我喝了一瓶可乐。And the final part of checking out, the painful part. You have to pay. You have to pay. <laughs> <yes> . The checkout clerk is going to tell you you stayed three nights, eighteen hundred yuan.、Mm -hmm. First, Joel Osher, can you help us with the eighteen hundred yuan? 一千八百元 And three nights. 三晚 Stayed three nights. 住了三晚 ，so lived three nights. That's right, lived three nights. 住了三晚。Tell me, you stayed three nights, eighteen hundred yuan. 您住了三晚，一千八百元。They'll go through the actual calculation with you. That's so、right. they'll, they'll then say, deduct the deposit six hundred yuan. Can you tell us six hundred yuan? Six hundred yuan. And can you remind us of deposit? Yajin. Deduct the deposit. Cut 掉押金 Tell me, deduct the deposit six hundred yuan. 扣掉押金六百元。And finally, she's going to finish off the sentence. Altogether, that's twelve hundred yuan. In Chinese way, would be altogether still need uh twelve hundred yuan. Yeah. Okay. Tell us the twelve hundred yuan first. 一千两百元。And the that, but in Chinese, it will be still need. 还要。So that's twelve hundred yuan. 还要一千两百元 And can you remember all together? 总共 Tell me all together. That's twelve hundred yuan. 总共还要一千两百元 So this is the way that people or the clerk would go through with you. They would tell you that.、Uh, How many nights you've stayed, and how much they will be, and、uh, add something or to minus something. Yeah. The next question would be: Are you paying cash or with a credit card? Can you remind us how to say with a credit card? Shua ka. So swipe the card. That's right, shua ka. And paying cash. Fu xian. Ask me: Are you paying cash or with a credit card? 您付现还是刷卡 ？Tell me cash. 付现 ，we said pay cash. 付现。And now you're actually going to pay and get your change back. And again, there is a very ceremony. Yeah, there's a ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> you... We do it religiously. <laughs> And they would literally say, "Receive from you two thousand, give you back eight hundred." That's right. Yeah. So please first tell us the eight hundred. 八百元 And give you back eight hundred. 找您八百元 And you help us out with the two thousand. 两千元 Receive from you two thousand. 收您两千元 Tell me, receive from you two thousand, give you back eight hundred. 收您两千元，找您八百元。But I have to remind you, it's not only at a hotel, at a restaurant,、uh, anywhere. The shops anywhere, really. Yeah, they would、uh, do yeah. it religiously. Yeah, they take you through the whole process of how、yeah. much you've given, what your change yeah, should be. Yeah. Just um to avoid any kind of、uh, mistakes or misunderstanding. Good system. Yeah. And of course, you're going to get a receipt. 
Can you tell us how to say receipt? Show Chu. Tell me, this is your receipt. You may need to sign not just the receipt, but lots of things, of course. The receptionist is going to ask you, please sign here. How do you say sign? Ming. Tell me, please sign here. Okay, Chinese word would be, please, at here, sign. Okay, we're finally out of the hotel. <laughs> yes, you're paid, haven't well, you? Paid, we can go. <laughs> okay. And that's the end of this particular Chinese language builder for hotels, and it's the end of Chinese language builder for hotels. We'll be starting a new one next week. And yes. what will that be? So next time we're going to do eating and drinking. Very important. Useful survival stuff. Of course. Of course. In China, eating and drinking is... It's life. It's life. It's a big thing. Yeah. So please don't forget to visit us at either medlockmethod.com or our soon-to-be-new website, medlockchinese.com. So now it's time for us to say 再见. 再见. Have fun.